Okay, let's start working with our new WordPress site that we've just installed. So I've opened up a browser. You can see I'm on the Google homepage here. And to get to our site, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to start up my WAMP server. So I'll go down here. You can see my WAMP server is red. I've run the program, but now I need to make sure I start all the services. And if WAMP server, which is Apache, MySQL, PHP, and PHP my admin, if it starts up correctly, I should see green. So there it is, the green W. That means my web server is running. So that means I can go to localhost and go to my web server. Now, in my web server, I'm just going to click on this. In my WW directory, I've changed my index.html to index.html.back and my index.php file to index.php.back. So I don't have a home page, and that enables me to get to a directory listing when I go to localhost, and then I can choose the website that I, or the folder that I want to go to. So my WordPress site is in this folder right here. So I'll click here, and you can see it takes me to the front page of a brand new WordPress website. So this is on my local machine. You can see it's got a hello world page down here at the bottom, or post. And so now we want to start adding content to our site. Now to do this, what you're going to need to do is, what I recommend that you do is, that is, open up a new tab in your browser, and I'm going to go to localhost again, and I'll click on the site, but this time I'm going to go to wp-admin to get to the administrative back end. So now I'm at the administrative back end, and this is where you need to know your username and your password that you set up on your site. Now, if you don't remember your username and password, there's a way that you could reset your password. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I do remember mine, so I'm just going to say admin here, and I'm going to put in the password. Let's see here. And I'll click login. All right, so now I'm logged in to the site. Now, now that we're logged into the back end of the site, so once again, this is the front end. This is what users see when they'll get to your website, right? And then this is your administrative back end where you can manage and add content and update your site and do all kinds of things. So the first thing we want to do is learn how to put some content into our site. And so for that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Posts, and we'll see if we can make a post. And you can see when I click on Posts, that there's already one post in the site, and it's the Hello World post that we have here. So if we wanted to, we could just go in and edit that right away. So I could click Edit. And now that we're in editing mode, we have these what look like word processing tools available to us. Now you can see here that I've already collapsed this one, so I can get a few extra tools down here at the bottom. And what we can do now is we can, we can change this text. We could say, I am changing this, right? Uh, we could also change the title up here. Here's the title. All right. We can highlight some text and try out some of these tools here. You know, bold our text. We can center the text. You name it, right? So we can add a link here and test out how the links work. And I recommend that you do all of that. So let's just see if we can update this right away. So we'll click Update. And you can see the post is updated. I'm going to go back to the front side. I can view the post from here from the back end, but I like to just go to the front end of the site and then just hit a refresh and then see if the changes took. And you can see they did. Hello, everybody. There it is, right? So. Um, you can see here that this is built for blogging. So you, we can see here that one comment, and then you can see this is a comment. All right. Perfect. Let's go back home. Let's see if we can create our own post right below this post. Notice this post is uncategorized. We're going to make enough post right now, but we're going to put it into a category. So let's give that a try. So we'll go in here, and we'll click Add New Post. Under Posts, Add New, we'll say Tech Wednesday. And we'll say I am current, we'll just type in some text right here. 
right? So we put in a little text here. All right, perfect. And I'm going to go down here. And you can see here we've got the published settings right here. Status, draft, edit. You can see this is a draft, or if we want to put this post from draft to pending review for an administrator to review it and approve it, we could do that. I'm going to hit cancel. Visibility, edit. You can see public. We'll stick this post to the front page. You can check that, right? If we want to password protect the post or make it private so that only registered users on the site can see it, we can do that, right? I'll click OK. And then publish. Publish immediately. We could go here and set some publish settings. So if we want to publish this, let's say, in two days at 8 in the morning, we could do that. Or we want to publish it tonight at midnight, we could do that, right? So we'll just hit cancel right, right now because then we're going to publish it immediately. Now we'll go down here and we'll see right now we're using a standard format. We want to experiment and see what these other formats look like. And then categories. You can see here I was already playing and I created the category. Let's see if we can um, make a new one. So we could say add new category and I'll say tech blog and I'll click add new category. And so I'm going to make this post under my tech blog. All right, that's my category. I'm going to put some tags for this. So I'll put some tags in here. I'll say tech, right? And I'll say computers and hardware and all that. Okay, so add, and there's my tags, right? Tags should be associated with the content that's in the article, right? So any kind of any kind of words that are in the article that associate with these types of basically key words, right, or key concepts. All right, if we want to, we can set a featured image for the article. That's pretty important, right? Set featured image. Let's click on that and give that a try. So, okay, I can get it from my computer, the image from the URL or from the media library. I'm going to upload it from my computer. So I'll select the files, and you can see here that. I've got a uh, cooling unit right here, and there's a CPU. I'll just double click on this CPU, right? And you can see that it's adding it in. There's the image. All right, I can give it a title, alternate text, a caption, a description. I can make it align in different ways to the text, right? So we'll just hit none for now. And then full size or thumbnail. Let's make it small. We'll make it a little thumbnail. And use as a featured image for the article. Yeah, let's do that. All right, and insert into post. So now you can see that it's been set as the featured image for this article. If I scroll up to the top, you can see the image was placed in wherever my cursor was set. So what I'm going to do is I'll take that, and I'll cut it, cut, and then I'll place it at the beginning here. Paste. And that looks pretty good. We now can publish. Now, before we publish, I want to point out one thing. I have done a couple things that you might not see here. You might not see this discussion in this author um, panel because I added that through my screen options. So if you go up here to the top, click on screen options, it shows which categories we're working with on this article, right? So featured image was one, tags, categories, the format, right? And you can see here that I've also selected discussion and author. And that means that now, if we scroll down to the bottom, I could say, well, I don't want people to comment on this article. Or I do want comment system, right? Or if they have more than one author, I could choose a different author for the article. So and that all looks pretty good, though. So let's say publish. All right, the article is published. And so now, what we can do is, you know, and I'm not liking the way this text is lining up. Let's go into the HTML and take a look at this. You can see here, let's look at the image tag, image title, right? Okay, and we could possibly say image. Let's see if we can set the alignment, right? We'll say align 
equals, and then in quotation marks, let's say left. Let's see if that works. All right. You can see here, I've got some HTML tools if you know your HTML. All right. Take a look here. That looks good. We'll click update. And we'll go back to visual. And you can see now the text is aligning to the top. And if I had a lot more text, like for instance, let's just highlight this text, copy, and we'll just paste it and paste it and paste it. You can see that the text will align around the image by using the align left option. That's pretty nice. OK, so we'll hit update. And we'll go to the front page of our site. And we'll hit refresh and scroll down to the bottom and you can see there's our post. Tech Wednesday, there is the image with the text aligning around the outside. We need to put some spacing around this so that the text is not butting up to the image, but you can get, you get the idea. You can see that it's posted in the tech blog and it has some tags, computers, hardware, tech, right? Leave a reply. If somebody would want to, they could put a comment on the system. And so we've created our first post. It's not much, but it's just a beginning. Go back to home and before we leave it, I thought I'd go back here and really quickly see if I can get that image worked on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the image, click edit image. It'll open up this box again. You can see this edit image box, right? So align left. We can actually choose align left so that it's done for us without having to change the HTML manually. So I wanted to point that out. And then let's see here if we can, if I choose a line left, it might put in some spacing too automatically, which would be nice. So let's just see if it did that for us. We'll click update and you can see it put in the spacing for us. Now if you want to see how the HTML is different, we could just click on HTML now and then look to see how they decide to do it. See, there's the align left, right? No, they put image class align left right so now you don't need this right I'll just remove that and so by putting it into the image class align left it already has some properties which um, puts in the styling for us so that's nice so I'll click update and go back to visual and you can see that that looks a lot nicer right so now if we go back to the front page of our site and hit refresh, you can see now that we have the spacing around the image.